Man, the people in them comments like that boy Trey have it, have it. They did not want to see his name associated with Ari. For mixed up emotions, starring commotions with anybody on the block who ever thought of provoking. Carried a chip on my upper torso. It was more so like a vacant irritation. Grandma didn't have a cure for it's only logical. A child want their biological parents to be beside them through plays and recitals. Back then, I was blinded by the fact that she stayed down for a shorty when mama and dad grabbed the backpack. So I did the opposite. Family, what it do? It's your girl Tamika, and I am back with another video. Shout out to my family, ST Squad, man. I love y'all a long way. I appreciate you guys for coming back and tuning in. Listen, if it's your first time here, I'm gonna need you to stop right now and smash that subscribe button. Quit being mean to me and acting petty. Smash shit! I'm on the road to 100K and I need your help. Help me get my plaque, no cap. Look, y'all, we about to get into a lot of stuff on YouTube today. Yeah, it is. You know what I'm saying? There's a lot of stuff to talk about, and I want to talk about it. So, uh, first on the docket, you know what I mean? This was really, really special, man. Um, but Ari, you know what I mean? Uh, Queen's good friend or whatever has gave her life completely to Christ. Um, she's went from disciple to minister, and I think it's a very, very dope story. So, without further ado, we about to slide into the video. Let go. For a lot of people who don't know who she is, like her mother was responsible for some of the great YouTubers that we love today. Um, Chris and Queen, uh, Joel, um, the, uh, Damien and Bianca, the list goes on and on. Any of the influential YouTubers, you know what I'm saying, or whatever, uh, Ari's mom probably had a hand in it, you know what I'm saying, or whatever. But uh, fast forward, I knew something was going on with Ari because she's been very, very quiet. And not really quiet in the sense of just like not being on youtube or anything like that but just more so like i knew something was wrong when she uh terminated her her career right uh rich the kid and i wouldn't say something was wrong but uh something had her undivided attention and now we know that um it was her pretty much giving her life to christ and it is a great great thing because sometimes people be under the um assumptions that like money and designer and all of this stuff is what drives us they feel like once you're able to ascertain those things that you've done made it you know what i'm saying where that's not the case some people find happiness in other things you know what i'm saying and when you have a profound relationship in christ it's like none of those things can even move you in a way you know what i mean like honestly i'm very happy to see this you know what i'm saying seriously so she actually went to her ig yesterday let's take a look at what her uh, what she posted her post said, from disciple to minister, Jeremiah 29, 11, for I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans for welfare and not for evil, to give you future and a hope. Now, of course, you know, when she posted her post, you know what I'm saying, a lot of different T pages and a lot of different entities, you know what I'm saying, took what she said and um, posted on that forum, you know what I mean? And it landed on the Shade Room teens. And, you know what I mean, there was a lot of people who was negative and then there were some people that was positive. But, you know, that's just the way that the internet is going to work these days. It doesn't matter what you do good on this platform, somebody's going to still find the negative in anything. It doesn't even matter. So when you starting to do this stuff, you just got to have tough skin. You know what I mean? I had to learn a hard way everybody is gonna learn one way or another you know what i'm saying but anyway uh ari's ex-boyfriend uh left a comment in the shade room teens uh let's take a look at it that man left one damn sentence and and, and the world was in an uproar he said god works his favor in mysterious ways praying emojis Man, the people in them comments like that boy Trey have it, have it. They did not want to see his name associated with Ari. And it was because, you know what I'm saying, there was a lot of things that were surrounding their breakup. You know, and I really think a lot of it came after the breakup. I think it was a time when Ari was on Twitter, you know what I'm saying? And she was just trying to maintain some type of friendship with Trey. And um, now that he's with the collab crib, he got a new set of friends that he's with. They were saying that he was pretty much being shady towards her. Now, who really knows? You know what I'm saying? Sometimes people take things that's completely innocent and run with it in a completely different direction than what it was intended. You know what I'm saying? I didn't see it, so I couldn't really just basically... I I can't even speak on it, but that's what a lot of people were saying in the comments, and they just did not want to see his name at all, even even though, you know what I'm saying, it was kind of like a positive post, you know what I'm saying? Now, another person that commented, you know what I'm saying, of course, was her friend Queen Naja, and this is what she had to say. So Queen said, Ari has truly changed. I can vouch for that. She often calls me privately just to pray with or for me. I'm so proud that she allowed God to work through her. She is an inspiration. 
And I just don't understand how somebody could even take a, a response like this and make it negative. Fix it, Jesus. Like, fix us all. You know, there was some people even under her comment, you know what I'm saying, trying to throw shade. Basically, man, you're not even friends with Ari anymore and blah, blah, blah. And a lot of people don't understand what goes on behind this camera. You don't know what these folks talk about. You don't know what they do. You know what I mean? If these folks don't show you 10 to 12 minutes of their lives every day, you wouldn't know shit. So the only thing that you could pretty much do is just draw pens and react to certain things, but nothing is actually factual. You know what I'm saying? Because you just don't know. Now, according to Queen, they talk a lot. And I can see that with Ari. You know what I'm saying? When you're giving your life to Christ, bro, it's bigger than whatever it used to be. You feel what I'm saying? Some things just don't matter anymore. And I'm just happy, you know what I mean? Especially with the climate that Queen be under. When it comes down to YouTube, everything is turned into something negative. Everything, you know what I'm saying? So I'm happy to see that she has a friend that will take the time to pray with her. Because I'm telling you, like, the way that people treat Queen Naja on this internet, I have never seen nothing like it. And it's just an ongoing, ongoing situation. I mean, it's been damn near four to five years now, and the, and the, and the narrative has not change it goes in full circle from the people that she date to her parents and skills and i just don't get it drop it down in the comments if you get it because i don't understand it i really really do not but anyway you know what i'm saying i'm happy that she does have a friend in ari you know what i'm saying or whatever to make that time to take that time out to pray with her man because i'm telling you this internet sometimes is the most devilish thing i can ever seen or i have ever seen in my whole life and you really really have to use this shit accordingly or that would drive you crazy. But anyway, man, I want to just say shout out to Ari. This is a very beautiful thing, man. You know what I'm saying? It's just it's, it's just beautiful when, you know what I mean, your whole focus is not dedicated to, to shit that's trending. You know what I mean? And and she, she's got her life turned around. And you could just see it. I mean, she's glowing. She looks absolutely beautiful. And it's just a beautiful thing to see. I'm sorry. I just really think it is. Drop it down in the comments. I want to know how y'all feel. You know what I'm saying? Do you think this is a good thing for Ari? You know what I'm saying? I want to know. Let's talk about it. Meet me in the comments. s and I appreciate you guys for coming back and tuning in. I appreciate all the support that you give us all the time. Thank you so much. Listen, if you have not subscribed, before you head off this video, make sure you smash that subscribe button right now. Also, if you have not subscribed to our personal vlog channel, please go over there right now. I'll put the link in the description and go subscribe to Bella and Toot right now, today. Help us get to 10K. You dig what I'm saying? Also, I'm going to need you guys to follow our TikTok. I am about to prank my wife with the slamming the car door challenge. This should be hilarious because I was already out recording a video. So let's just roll into it. Tripod, you want the big one or the little one? Big one. Thank you. Actually, I changed my mind. Can I get the little one, please? Man, why are you slamming the door? I didn't slam the door. You slammed the door. I just closed it lightly. Thank you. Shamika! Can I get the face wipes? Babe, you slamming the door. The trees, man. You can even hear it in the trees. Really? It's hot out here. I need a light. Because you're slamming the door. I'm sorry. Thanks, babe. Yo, yo, yo. You know what I'm saying? We get to let loose a little bit over there, a little bit more. You know what I'm saying? So please follow us on TikTok. I will also put the link in the description. I love y'all. And until next video, I'm going to catch y'all, dog. Peace.